TheShirtDog.com here with the victorious Rashad Evans here in the main event at UFC 133 this evening. And Rashad, before you even get to the fight, I see you have the cast on your arm. What happened exactly? What are the doctors telling you about that? Uh, you know, it's just a little bit of dislocation. Not too serious. Uh, just banged it up a little bit early in the first round. But it, it's not going to cause me any problems. I should be back and ready to go in about uh, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Okay, now looking to the looking at the fight specifically, how's it feel to get back in after the long layoff that you had? It felt good because it was such a long layoff. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, mostly by myself going into that situation. But, you know, I, I believe in my training, I believe in my coaches, I believe in my training partners and everybody, all the black zillions and my uh, management staff at ASM, you know, they, they believed in me. So I knew I was in the best position of my life and just keep pushing myself forward. And this is, if I actually have my math correct, your first fight since the move from Jackson's to uh, making the move here away from him against Tito. How did that end up working out for you now that you've had your first, first fight on your belt? It worked, it worked out pretty good, you know, um, I feel better, you know, I feel like, you know, I got the one-on-one -on -one time that I needed, and uh, I went out there and, and fought the, the way I knew I could fight. Did Tito pose any problems to you that you didn't expect? Um, no, not really, not really. I mean, you know, he's, he, he was uh, going out, and I knew he was going to go out pretty hard, so I expected that, but he didn't pose any problems that, that uh, worried me too much. Uh, you know, I, I knew if I got him inside control, he, he, it was a wrap. Um, I just was just keep hitting him, just keep hitting him, and I knew eventually he would break. But you know, he was kind of hard to, to uh, hit in that position because he covered up so well, and it's really hard for me to daze him in that position. But um, when he offered me that knee, I, I, I couldn't pass up. I had to just do it. Now we look ahead. Well, actually, let me ask you this: How soon after this fight do you start to look at? Um, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy this right now, and whatever happens after this happens after this. Uh, you know, you know, John and, and, and Rampage still got a fight next month, so we'll see what happens with that, and then we'll go from there. Is there anybody specifically that you're gunning for? Obviously, people are expecting you to say Jones, but maybe you'll want Rampage again. Uh, you know, it, it all depends. You know, uh, Rampage go out there, he looks impressive and knock out uh, Jones, and that's who I want. I want Rampage, but, you know, I, I definitely want to get a chance to get my hands on John. John thinks he's the best, but he's not.